Hi, this is Keenly, and we're going to talk about this fluid dynamics problem where we have a large open tank that's got a leak somewhere down below, and we want to figure out how fast the water is leaking out of this. So we want to find its velocity. So we're going to use Bernoulli's principle, and since we're talking about water, the density of water, that's what rho stands for, is the density of the fluid, is 1,000 kilograms meters cubed. Now, I know if you looked at this in chemistry, you use a lot of one gram per cubic centimeter. But in physics, we like big stuff. So it's, that converts to 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. We have atmospheric pressure, where the atmospheric pressure is 1 times 10 to the 5th Newton meters squared. Or we have a fancy unit 1 times 10 to the 5th pascals. So a pascal is a newton per meter squared. Both sides are open to the air. First of all, we need to decide what we're going to do with the height in our problem. My suggestion is make where the leak is a height of zero. And then the water level is going to be a positive height above that. You can make this zero, and then the leak will be at a negative distance. I prefer to keep positive numbers, so I'm going to start my leak here and say this is zero meters right there. And so my water level is 23 meters above that. Let's start off by looking at atmospheric pressure. So this is open. That's a key term, open and large. Those are very key terms. But open means this is open to the air, and this is open to the air. So both the tank and the leak are experiencing air pressure. They're open to the air. So this pressure and that pressure are the same, so they essentially cancel out. Since the leak is where we define our zero for the height. H is zero here, so that term falls completely out. So it's gone. Here's the other thing. Water's going to be shooting out of this, but since this is a large tank, that means that this tank is big compared to that leak right there. So even though the water level is dropping, it's dropping really, really, really slow. So that's a very small velocity of this water level dropping. And in the equation, we're going to square that. So if we square a small number, we get an even smaller number. And so this essentially is zero. So we can cancel this term out. Now we got down to this. And I'm going to rewrite it. Rho GH1 equals one-half rho v squared. And here's another thing that happens. We've got rho in each term. So that rho and that rho cancel each other out. And of all that big mess of an equation, we end up with this. gh1 equals 1 half v squared. And I want to solve for v, so I'll move the 2 over. 2 gh1 equals v squared. Take the square root of 2gh1. And h1 is where our water level is. And so to solve this, now that I've got everything solved, it reduces quite nicely. I can actually plug in my numbers and determine the velocity of the water shooting out of that hole in the tank. So 2 times 9.8 times 23. And we get a velocity of, let's see, 2 times 9.8 times 23. Take the square root. It's going to shoot out at 21.23 meters per second. And so that's the velocity of the water leaking out of this tank. And if that's above the ground, 
then we can make this into a projectile motion problem and figure out where the water hits on the ground. But for this problem, we're going to stop there. Thank you for watching. Tune in again for some more physics videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. Goodbye.